welcome back to my channel <laughs> today is sunday and sunday we always sit down and have a talk i have things to share with you and also want to know how's it going how's it going with you in this time this situation i mean <sighs> we went out yesterday to do food shopping and we also see that many things on the supermarket on the shelf is like empty breads and oil i don't understand why people um, bought a lot of toilet paper <laughs> like since this conversation keep going on of internet also my team because we are working on my design i will go to that subject later so my team told me also in the country people also bought a lot of toilet paper and now it's kind of like yeah it's run out in, from the market and they asked me also if in germany people do that as well and i heard some people said that in germany but because yeah i didn't see it yet until yesterday kai told me that all the shelf on the shelf all the toilet paper are gone and i was like what to do with this virus with the toilet paper maybe I didn't inform about that but I just found it weird um, yeah but I <laughs> still happy that there's still rice and noodle we got a lot of stuff for our home mostly vegetable like we cannot bought or buy a lot of vegetable at one time because you know I have to keep it fresh so usually we go shopping once a week and we have lots of veggie and also tofu and all this kind of thing we try not to buy so much but yesterday I <laughs> realized that I took like two package of rice usually I just take once a week and you know noodle and I got a lot of noodles but yeah because also going outside i heard like people put the glove i see people put the glove and i heard that in a in a big city they put glove like everyone put not glove like a mask all over the place i don't see yet in germany but i saw like my friend in thailand they sent picture also my mom she put the mask on and she said that it's everyone have to put the mask on now totally get it because like you know you are in touch with people but somehow we live a little bit away from everything and everyone we are very close to the forest and here i don't see so much people i didn't see it yet people wear mask here we don't have mask also so i just feel like first i thought if we go to town maybe we see someone wear the mask on the street but yeah nobody wear mask <sighs> The only thing is freaked me out a little bit <laughs> is that the town is so empty like you drive on the road there's no car and there's just like a few cars not so many cars like it used to and the shop are closed down of course because people cannot go to work now it's only supermarket is open here so in a way is a bit never experienced something like this before but uh, part of me I also feel that oh now I see airplane on the sky I was thinking that I don't see so much airplane anymore but now I see one on the sky and I just said that I feel the air is more pure somehow like it's cleansing itself when people don't um, take like because now everyone kind of like come back to themselves and or home even though there's panicking going on in the air but somehow all the business and everything like restaurant also closed so less waste like the thing throwing out to nature and i think it's kind of oh, it's so hard to put it to word like i feel in my heart that nature somehow take it back a little bit like now everyone have to slow down and be with where they are with themselves so there's not so much going on in industrial i feel like the nature is taking a bit back or restore what it has been uh, imbalanced i don't know how to say it correctly in english so now that everyone 
kind of everything cancelled, not so much flies anymore, not so much pollution in the air and the sky look clear, clearer than usual so I think the best thing to do in this situation, like my point of view, is not to get too panic, not too panicking with all the news. I know that the news telling us what we have to do, what's going on, keep updating. I also constantly got messages from people in my life, family member, friends, and all the thing that you know, the news that keep posting video facebook youtube like everything that they want us to know i have to be honest that i don't watch all those videos or follow up so much with the news what i do is that i just do what i can for myself like i went out and then i come home and just make sure i clean my hands and i don't like how to say I don't collect or I don't even know the word in English I don't collect the toilet paper because I don't know what is that for and I don't be in this mindset of you know we are gonna die or whatever is happen or going to happen what can we do but accept and do the best we can because the panicking also take us out of balance I think it's important not to take in so many informations but okay be open and accept also and see what we can do but not in the fear based frequency of course like something is going on we feel it we see it we, we somehow we know it but panicking is not gonna help us and I think to take the time to don't forget also that life is still moving and nature and the season and all this everything around us like now in Germany we are moving into spring we are already in springtime and if we take the time a little bit to enjoy the change also from the season so what I'm saying I don't mean that you have to ignore everything around you but I just say that you have a choice to take in the information that can be useful and also don't open yourself into the information that sometimes only confuses you. Just ask yourself what you can do where you are and sometimes just don't do anything maybe. Just be, just be, you know, just enjoy the change also now. The season is keep moving even though in you know in the in the world there's so many things going on the chaotic and all that thing going on but look in the other side that the world is still turning and the sun is still shining and all these little thing that we didn't actually pay attention to because we have to go to work we have to do many other things in our life now we have more time with our family with the people that we love we can you know spend some time with them and share a little bit more quality time with them and if you love to be alone just take the time with yourself or if you have never been alone just you like to be with people all the time perhaps this is the time to be with yourself somehow i feel not so different than before because we like kai and i we just two of us living here and we have neighbor we have uh, wonderful people living here as well we see them not every single day because we love to be in our space for me i love to just be by myself somehow and i crochet a lot because for me crochet is kind of meditation for me i like to just be with myself quiet and sometimes i play some really only the melody there's no text no singing no lyrics i mean so it's just a frequency of the sound that i love to hear while i'm crocheting so for me it's a really deep meditative state to just be by myself and do what i love to do which is crocheting so for me it does not affect so much to just not contact with people because that's how I am every single day even though I contact with people online because I'm teaching online but this way I am the one who um, how to say it, 
I'm the one who make a schedule like when I want to talk to people and when I don't and I feel much more connected with myself this way I love I love to be connected with myself because this is the only way I can connect with other people in just in a deeper level you know like I work with many people like I work with my team all the time I work with people and connect with people I teach online I teach women I teach people who want to become a crochet designer or to run a crochet business so it's a lot going on like a lot of conversation when I have a time to just for myself I just love to not talk and just listen to the vibration or the sounds of the instrument and just crochet so for me this is a way to be in my island somehow I'm already on my island you know like the place that I just feel rest and feel home but for those who have not really take the time to come to yourself to themselves i think this is a perfect time it's weird to say it's a perfect time but it is it's a perfect time for you to come back home and just connect with yourself when you ask me many people ask me like oh, i want you to teach me now how to do a social media how to work with brands how to have a sponsor how to do this that that so i create this first lesson of how to build the business like build a business from the soul level i start to you know write out everything from the you know before the beginning let's say when people say like teach me how to make social media persona in the way that people would want to work with me and da 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 so i say okay before i want to do that i want to teach everyone i already did um, webinar and all thing like that online to teach people how to work with social media but it's not working that way because their mindset is not there yet you know like if your mindset is not there yet if your mindset is not believe in what you do if your mindset is not believe in yourself it's very hard to start a successful business and also there are many meanings behind successful business so for me successful mean joy and I can only teach what I believe then I start to think okay if I teach you how to create your you know write your bio on social media but before all of that all of the social media all the thing like YouTube and all these things is also the standard of the way of you of how to say it. it's the mindset it's the way of how you feel and how you think and how can you work with your feeling and your mindset i keep saying many times mindset because it's very important if you only want to get a free yarn if you only want to work with brand if you only want to have a 10,000 followers on instagram but you don't have what it takes which is the confidence inside of what you do of yourself if you don't have the belief in your products in your work in your design in yourself it is so hard because a beautiful picture give you a lot of opportunity right but the beautiful picture it won't last long because the connection the relationship that you have with yourself is the standard of everything because if you have a good relationship with yourself you can have a good relationship with your customer with your tribe with the people that who want to work with you because it's a mirror it's a reflection because it's not about being perfect you online but it's about being you a unique you a unique you and the perfect you is totally different thing so my way of teaching is that I'm helping you or guiding you or showing you how you can find the uniqueness of yourself which is beyond the beginning step because it's like the roots of everything if you want to plant the seed on the earth or if you actually want to move this tree into the bigger space that it can grow and thrive and the roots can go everywhere you're not gonna cut or chop the top and to put it somewhere you have to dig the earth and you have to carefully carefully not hurt the roots and carrying the roots with it 
to the bigger space. And for some of you who never do all this before and want to start to plant the seed, before you even plant the seed, you have to see the condition of the soil. You have to see what kind of the soil that you have right now. How to make the soil, the earth healthy before you can put the seed beneath it so that it can grow and be strong tree later on. So this is my way of teaching. And I realized that when I do a private or one-on-one -on -one class, it just take a lot of time, meaning that it will cost a lot more. So I decided to start my patron. And now I have, I think 19 of you are my patrons. And I start to deliver the content and write my first, this also six pages of, you know, start to build from the roots. So the first lesson is, I call be the voice not an echo I wrote that the other day and I already posted it and sent it out on my patreon site so those who are my DK wet level supporter can download it and you can keep this lesson with you and the upcoming weeks I will be writing more the next step so I want to prepare you first prepare the soil the earth before we can put the seed beneath it right and for those who already in the social media for a long time I also think that this lesson is preparing you to find a good space or to find the the bigger space for this tree these big roots to grow even more and wider and get stronger so I think this lesson is one of the most important steps and yeah i'm so excited some of you already downloaded and i'm going to continue the next lesson i cannot say to you now i can only say when it's already there so if you feel like this is the way you want to learn from me you can do that now also now you have time to you know to take the step and learn everything slowly and just make sure that you understand why you do what you do why you have the call to to crochet why you have the call to become a crochet designer like i got the message from the people teach me how to get the free yarn from the company teach me how to have a 10,000 follower on instagram teach me how to have a successful uh, community teach me how to have many people always want to test the pattern for you this is really many steps further like you have to know who you are like why you're doing what you do before you can do all of that because I cannot teach you something that you don't see it in yourself yet you just look at me and you want me to teach you something that is like too far out of course you can dream of it you can want it to have all of that but first you have to make a baby step so I want to teach you something that actually works something that you can use it for lifetime and not just crochet business but since you come to me through crochet so i'm gonna use this medium to show you how to get there but first you have to be here and do the step all right okay so what i have been doing this week are uh, many things we were in the testing process of this top i think you saw it already if you follow me on facebook i did the first one in green and now I have my second one in white. I found a slightly smaller. I wanted to show you. It's also the same DK weight, but all the DK weight is not always the same when you work with it. So I have to say that when you, I will put the link under this video. When you go to my pattern page on Ravelry, you have to click on projects because we have, this time we have like 20 testers in my team and when you click on the projects you will see different um, picture different type of yarn and different work from everyone of course so you can click in each one of our testers and to see what yarn they use and what tips that they give you to help you to create the perfect fit i have to say that i really love this design because it's really giving a perfect fit <laughs> I actually teach in the written pattern how you can make it fit you like this even though we have 
tester who are different sizes i'm going to give you the suggestion number for different sizes from xs to xl but i also teach you in the pattern how you can measure yourself and make it fit you the way it fit me because even though we have the same bra cup but our posture posture you said our neck our shoulder our body uh, length is different so when you follow step by step in the pattern of how to measure your body you will have a perfect fit of this nadu crop top i'm so excited because making this pattern to life is like a journey i have to say like i did five times of this one and i was like one point i don't know if i'm gonna be able to make it but then when i make it i was like yes this is the top i wanted to make more and wearing every day because it's so comfortable and i would say that you when you get a pattern it's nice to use a good yarn good yarn meaning that uh, natural based material and block your work also this one is made from eco hem and 80% is wool 20% is hem so I block it and it stay that way this one is more like I think one inches or half inches bigger than this but it's like fit me perfectly as well just that this yarn somehow doesn't have the stretch a uh, nest like not so stretchy like this one this yarn is from expression fiber arts and this dk sparkle dk wet i put also the link for you to get the yarn so yeah have a look on the website and if you want to get a coupon code i have a special coupon code that i share on my patreon site for my patron only if you just become my patron for the first level which is fingering wet level you can already get a coupon code and you can unlock many contents that I share there. And by the way, I didn't talk about the weight of um, when you become my patron of what the spot weight level, you will get also the pattern of the month, including the coupon code and all the content for the fingering, fingering weight level and spot weight level. But when you are DK weight level, you get it all. You get all the education about behind the scene i'm going to pause after i release the pattern i'm going to do um what do you call construction video i'm going to show you the different step by step like just talk more in detail what's the difference between this one and this one and the construction how i start which direction i start first this is like education for designer because many of you want to know how i design this piece not just the pattern but how i design and what is the struggle how i fix it and what I think about, you know, the measurement and how I come up with the measurement. So I'm going to talk all about this thing so that when you want to decide something by yourself, you can re-watch the video and also ask me questions about my design, why I do this way and not that way. I'm going to also show you the tools that I use for write my pattern. The way I write pattern every time also different. Sometimes I use more photos, sometimes I use only diagrams, sometimes I use or everything but every time is have a written pattern combined with photo or combined with diagram and also I will teach how I actually how to say it, calculate in a certain part and why it's like that and people ask me even though my husband Kai asked me like how you come up with the design how, which, how do you do first you use a tape measurement or you, you use the yarn so I will talk about each design every time that I finish the piece so you will learn how I measure it from which part and from which part I start and why I do that I think this is the best way to learn how to decide something because you learn from see the process or seeing the walkthrough of the process of me of my work so this way you can see not just the imagination of something that in the future has not yet come but i actually show you what i did this is just the only way i can teach because i can only teach what i have done and what is wrong what is the solution and thing like that 
So come and join us in DK Wet Level and get all the delicious contents and start to grow in this designing pathway. I can't wait to share with you all. It will be so amazing when we have many of us join my Yaluna Corazon patron and when we reach the goal that I set there on my patron side we all can come together and we're going to create something very special just to share in the patron side let's see how long we get to that goal and I'm waiting I know that that day will come that we gonna have a video chat or you know live audio podcast i don't know yet what to do but we're gonna share ideas and see what we're gonna come up together what yarn we're gonna use what pattern we're gonna use and what we're gonna make that would be so amazing so come and join us i post that every single day so you can see also what i want to share every monday i do audio podcast for the first level supporter for the one who support and uh, fingering ways you will get uh, also audio podcast you can unlock that one as well we talk about life and business and tips and this depend on what is going on that week and what is the question that you leave me in the comment from previous content post so yeah come and join us i'm so overwhelmed by many of you who are following me on instagram and give me a lots of love and waiting for this pattern to release and also yesterday when i post on facebook i have so many people messages me ask me when it's gonna release can they have a link and can you imagine there's gonna be so many people making this nadu crop top and everyone gonna wear this amazing piece and feel beautiful in their own skin it doesn't matter what size you are i'm inserting the picture from my tester here we have many testers this time and i'm so happy because everyone able to do what they you know like in their vision because they see me and they were like they want to make the top like this too and they're not so sure if they can make it because they have a bigger br uh, breast uh, bra cup than me and not everyone able to do it i teach them step by step i help them to see if it's going to fit and they work with me closely step by step the way that wow like in the school you know of designing process and i love doing this so much i love seeing my work in all different type of body i love seeing my work in different colors and different variety of yarn that you use and you have always tips and advice to share with me also this way and not that way i learned so much in this testing process from my team as well and i am so grateful to have all these amazing goddesses by my side and work with me step by step to really give birth to this pattern so make sure to check it out the pattern the pattern will release on tuesday 24th of march in around afternoon in central european time zone but you can already go there click save favorite the pattern and also click on the projects and see all this amazing amazing work from my team and another thing before i leave you today i want to know what do you think of this label i show you the label last video i have two uh i have actually have three but today i'm gonna show you just two this one and this one, this one I put it on my cardigan. I show you how I connect it or how I sew it, how I hand sew it. So if you didn't watch this video yet, you can put up here and the corner here, you can have a look. And also the link in the description box below. I want to know for sure this one i'm going to put on my green top because i think it's matched perfectly the color so that i am pretty sure but my question today i want to know what do you think is the pink one good for this white or do you think the brown one i'm not sure I asked this question on Instagram and many people say the pink and also many people say the brown so I'm really not sure yeah but the pink also is so soft it's like a satin 
it's really very soft and I think this is so nice on the white so let me know in the comment below what do you think I want to sew this on my on my top today and it's just like which one and if you want to get a chance to win the giveaway 50 euro washer or if you are in England 50 pound or if you are in US you get 50 dollar washer to use in Wunder Label this company that sent me over all the label that I am going to put them on my clothes because I really love it so if you want to get a chance to win the washer to be the winner just make sure you check out this post on my Instagram and apply there I'm going to choose the winner on Tuesday and you know what I'm going to give three of you the written patterns three winners for my written pattern this one and the sakura so yes don't forget to apply that to get a chance to win the voucher from Wunder label i put also the link to their website and their youtube channel under this video so you can check them out they also have instagram you just have to follow all the steps how to apply and get a chance to win the voucher and also three of you will be chosen to win my nadu crop top written pattern and sakura cardigan ring pattern but if you feel like i want to get the label now because it's so cool and i want to have it now to put on my clothes because it's going to help my business look much more professional you can actually head over to their website and make sure to use the coupon code maya15 to get 15 percent off this coupon code only valid now until 14 of april so make sure to take advantage and use this code while they give us the code so yeah before i go let's appreciate this beauty one more now have a beautiful weekend beautiful sunday make sure that you take care of yourself take care of your heart your body and your mind make sure that you don't take too many informations from everywhere and don't let it confuse you you know exactly what you have to do trust in your instinct if you feel like you have to wash your hands just wash your hands and just take care of this thing like the hygienic for yourself but not let all this oh, crazy voices and noises to just make you feel like everything is horrible and, and worse look at the bright side the sky is clearer the birds are singing and the sun is shining so let's go out and enjoy some sun i see you next week have a beautiful day bye bye Mwah.